Hey everybody, today, Sacral Chakra Healing Tips. In this episode, Sacral Chakra Opening. I'm Heather. And I'm David. From Sandwich Garden. Com. Yes. Helping people create badass lives. So what does it take for a Sacral Chakra Opening? Well, let me speak from my experience. I think uh, for me personally, it was the courage to engage in life. Engage! Yeah, and I think this is an issue for a lot of people. A lot of people can experience shyness or timidity or fear of engaging and being themselves you know, authentically mm -hmm. in a public situation. And even though most people know me as a very outgoing, uh, outspoken, uh, loud person sometimes, mm -hmm. um, I, I find that over my life, before I did a lot of healing, people knew me as two different people. They knew me as someone who was very shy and quiet and reserved and didn't really want to associate and kind of was a hermit. And the other person who was like on stage and performing and outgoing. Um, the true me is kind of somewhere in the middle. And that's a good symptom that your sacral chakra is closed. So I was having some sacral chakra issues. And I say closed loosely because no chakra is ever really closed. Right. However, the blocks to a particular chakra are operating from the lower end of the chakra. Doesn't necessarily give you the same feeling as when your chakra is open and flowing. So I think to, to experience a sacral chakra opening, you've got to really confront your courage to engage with life. And well, no... You've got to confront your fear to engage. Uh, oh, right. You've got to confront that fear that's keeping you from the courage to engage in life. Yes. Because when you engage in life and really participate in life, that's when you are well, truly living. Mm -hmm. And what stops us is some sort of fear of rejection or judgment. Right. Um, and I found myself uh, growing up kind of leaving the party too soon because I was having too much fun or, or I was moving too much or feeling too much or emoting too much and that kind of put me in a state of fear sometimes. But she would reach this point in this moment when you could almost visibly see that subconscious program trigger to the surface and she would shut off. Right. Tell them the story. So I had many sacral chakra opening healing experiences, but this one was super intense and specific and one that I didn't really even know was there. And that is my, uh, that was my kind of fear of having too much fun. And I didn't really know where it was coming from mm -hmm. until David and I happened to be at a festival about six years ago. And uh, we started having too much fun and I started having a fear reaction. I couldn't figure out why. I was like, okay, we're done, it's time to go. And the Irish band is playing and we're having fun. David's being Irish. And um, he's like, what the heck's going on? I'm like, no, we gotta Who is go. this person? So I went home, did a little bit of hypnotherapy around it. And I was brought back to a memory where my nephews and I were jumping on the bed, like three, four, five years old, just jumping, 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 having so much fun, losing control of ourselves and laughing hysterically. My mom, God rest his soul, came in to the door and went, you guys need to calm down because when people lose control of their emotions and have too much fun, Satan will come and take them away. Take them over. Take them over. Take Not them take away. Them away take them over. Take them away. Take them over. Take them over. Anyway, Satan is going to come old. and adopt you and take you straight to that place you don't want to go. So I was... I had that, even though part of me did not believe her at the time, I was still very young and impressionable, so it was always in the back of my mind that if I have too much fun, bad stuff's gonna happen. Bad stuff happens, bad right. Stuff and happens. that's a very common thing that the mind protects itself from is having too much fun. Because if you have too much fun, then you're gonna lose control and people are gonna laugh at you and Satan's gonna take over your soul or whatever. Needless to say. Or adopt you. Needless to say, we took care of that business right there. Not having it and haven't had a problem with it since. So the extreme of this, uh, sacral chakra blockage would be the person who has agoraphobia. Mm -hmm. A fear so deep of the world around them that they may be doing something wrong out in the world that they end up not going out into the world to save themselves and protect themselves from judgment, fear, abandonment, rejection, whatever. Right. Or Satan. Or Satan. Something like that. So some ways to break these patterns and to kind of um, break up these blockages are to get yourself moving. Do anything that creates tactile experience. Dance, move, shake your butt. Shake your butt. 
<laughs> and notice where your fears are coming up. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, like my festival experience when I suddenly got afraid because I was afraid of an Irish band, which is my favorite. I love Irish bands, and I yes. suddenly was afraid. So look at your irrational fears that come up. When you're having fun, mm -hmm. take a look around and start to question, why am I actually afraid? Mm -hmm. And step away and get some self-awareness around because it. Because that's an indicator of where the issue lies. Solve mine, the issue. Mine was way back when I was five years old. We want to give a shout out to our subscriber, Kristen. Kristen, thank you so much for supporting yes. us, for all the comments you've been leaving, and for being there every time. Yes. So there it is. For more badass life tips, be sure to subscribe. And click that bell to turn notifications on. And we'll see you in the next video.